What is eosinophilic esophagitis? Wow, is that a big word? Well, let's talk about esophagitis. The esophagus is the swallowing tube. It goes from the mouth down to the stomach. A lot of times and a lot of things can cause problems with the esophagus. Mainly it's reflux disease. Reflux where acid comes from the stomach up into the esophagus, starts burning the esophagus. If it does it too much, it can cause a condition we call Barrett's esophagitis, which is precancerous. If we get stimulation with acid in the middle of the esophagus in people that have asthma, it sends a message to the lungs to begin to cough and wheeze. Now, there's a brand new condition called eosinophil esophagitis. And what this is, is when somebody is having heartburn, acid indigestion, they have the doctor look down at the esophagus, he takes a biopsy, and he finds a little cell called eosinophils. Most people think that eosinophils are related to allergy. So when we see an eosinophil, we say, hmm, I wonder what the allergic problem is. Well, since it's the esophagus, we immediately begin to think of foods. Are there foods that people are eating that can cause inflammation of the esophagus? Because that inflammation can cause scarring and cause damage where people have to have their esophagus dilated. Well, let's think about foods. The literature says, when we now start seeing a group of patients with this condition, eosinophilic esophagitis, wow, it's a big word, really don't like to use it because of that, that 50% of those people will have a food allergy. Now, is that true or not? Uh, the literature says that 50% will have food allergies, so you have to see the allergist, you have to have skin testing, you have to find out if there are foods that could be bothering you. And if there are foods that are causing problems, then you need to be sure that you work out a program on avoiding those foods. Now the esophagus is inflamed and we're not sure about the treatment. First, it's an inhaled steroid. Steroids make the eosinophils leave the area. So we know that cortisone will help treat this, but cortisone can cause many dangerous things. And so we just can't give people cortisone. First, they use a medicine called Flovent as the inhaler. And then they started putting a little bit of cortisone in an artificial sweetener and would let that dissolve in the mouth and trickle down the esophagus. And then the eosinophils would leave the area. The big problem is you have to frequently do the EGD that will, that's the looking down the esophagus. You have to look down there frequently to find if the medicine's working. So it makes it very, very difficult on the patient and the doctor to get a follow-up. But it's a very important thing because eosinophilic esophagitis can cause scarring of the esophagus and make it where you can't swallow food.